Hello everybody. Hi, how are you? Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you about preventing false twins. Welcome. Is this new to you? I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Now there's a lot of scuttlebutt out there. Uh, that means a lot of misinformation about who is your twin and who isn't. And actually he had to reach out to me yesterday. I was driving in the car. I answered the phone and the woman on the other line had contacted a psychic about the guy she's dating and the guy she's dating does this thing where they get together on the weekend they get intimate and then during the week he's like a non-existent person like they don't do anything during the week it's sort of a weekend thing right and this is making her nervous so naturally when she contacted the psychic the psychic read her mind and said, yes, this is your twin flame and you're going to separate. And that sent her into a panic. So let's talk about how do you prevent a false twin or how do you even prevent one of those soulmate relationships that seems okay, but it's not filling your tank. It can't fill any of your tanks. It's not fulfilling your heart. It's not creating any passion. And furthermore, if you continue living in your lower chakras of your body, just the sex, just the root connections, and there's no meeting of the minds or heart, okay? How do you prevent this? Why would you wanna prevent it? You wanna prevent it because one, it's a drain of your energy, and it's like delving back into karma, and you never know what the hell is gonna happen in karma anymore because it's not supported. Karma can be things like getting sick, one of the ways that you know if you're a female is your lower parts seem allergic to this person. You get frequent urinary tract infections, you get yeast infections, and this stuff isn't pretty. It can add up where you keep buying creams and stuff and going to the doctor to try and treat it when a simple fix would be just stop seeing that person because your body is trying to tell you something. So let me say right here, this is a body thing. Your body is connected to your soul and your soul knows who's who. Your soul knows. Or how about the person who's dating the person who murdered them in a the past life? Yeah, you'd be surprised how frequently this happens. This is, this is not out of the box, people, because that's actually a very common thing. But how would a person know? It's a body thing. The light body knows and sends off sometimes alarm bells. Every alarm bell in the cells is going off except the person will sit there and say, well, they're kind of nice. Uh, we have some good times. Not fulfilling. That is not a fulfilling relationship. How do you prevent this and what else are you preventing? Sometimes you're preventing chronic illness because that person is a constant drain, draining out your energy. You are preventing addiction because a lot of people, and this is a lot of marriages, they don't know what to do with the relationship, but they know how they're going to get through it. And it's by getting messed up on drugs or alcohol. A lot of people sleep separately too. They're in two different bedrooms and they've experienced bed death. How do you prevent that? Because some of the stuff that costs more money than actually joining one of my webinar classes. How do you prevent it? And why would you want to prevent a false twin? Well, false twins are no longer supported. False twins are no longer the harbinger of what's to come for your unique journey. It's just going to seem like it is a um, person who somehow it seems like it could go somewhere and then it kind of falls off the rails and it keeps falling off the rails and the training wheels keep coming off. You feel like you lost a wheel and you're about to go into the ditch and you go into that rut. Preventing false twins is vitally important because no longer can you support them and they will not support you. So we've already reached what I would call as a point of no return. And what that kind of means is that uh, to an extent, collectively, we've shifted 
We've shifted out of those levels where it may not be necessary or you can begin to make your moves out of that level where, yeah, there's like a cesspool of soulmates. I mean, I'm sorry, a pool of soulmates. I'm injecting a little humor here, but for some people it's not funny. It winds up being highly upsetting. It winds up feeling like hatred. You hate that person or you feel that they hate you or they're using you or they're taking advantage of you. And I would like you to prevent that because to an extent, sometimes that other person is seeing what can they use you for. You know, are they just keeping you on a string with all the other fish? Are they just keeping you waiting in the wings? Do you feel off balance with them? Do you feel like you're married to one and they get increasingly narcissistic? Now, whether or not you call that a false twin or a narcissist or a catalyst twin, your light body is the most important thing because this is a body thing and that's where you have to work. And that's what I'm here to offer you is join, join me so that you can learn, so that you can experience and so that you can grow. And this isn't like mental growth or emotional growth. You're not learning how to knit. You're learning about your brand new light body and that light body protects and deflects a lot of things from you. Now, let's say, as we discussed in my Sunday webinar, you have people that they're super nice and they show up and it kind of feels like a potential, but you're just not sure. Work with us, have a reading, have a twin flame session. Let us help you. That is what we are here for, because I will say this. A lot of people think this is about money. Well, look, cancer is about money. Cancer costs a lot. People lose their jobs. People have to pay for medicines. They like to think that the government is covering things, but the government doesn't can't. The government doesn't know about ascension. The medical community does not know about ascension. The psychology community does not know about ascension. We do. So the costs, what does it cost? If someone has a session once a month, the cost of that is frequently a lot less than meds for chronic illness, feeling disabled and not energetic because of chronic illness, feeling like your relationship is, is like the black hole of Calcutta and it's going nowhere feeling like your life is very dispassionate and you have no passion, you have no enthusiasm for anything, you don't know what you want to do, and you just feel yourself getting older. A lot of people who may be long timers on this journey, if you started watching me when I started it, it's been a really long time. I've been working at this for several years. And the thing about this is, is you have these drifts of misinformation where that could be what people are looking at, but it's not doing a thing for them. It is not opening and expanding their new channels, their new chakras, getting them where they need to be. Because during my classes, during my sessions, people start feeling better like this. Why? Because it's a body thing and that's where you feel things. You're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel good and you're supposed to feel your guidance, your messages, your personal messages, not a message for all of humanity. The message for all of humanity is, hey, stop fighting with each other. Hey, put that stuff away. Put all the weapons away. Start feeding people. Start giving them fresh water. Start having fun and playing again, right? There was one thing uh, I think you know, we, we have this like marker in space and our timeline, the pandemic, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic. Post-pandemic is bringing out a lot of stuff and it is bringing stuff welling up from the well of their souls that they need healing from. False twins are not going to cut it for you. So do you want to prevent a false twin? If so, work with us. Check the links below. Check out our website, Twin Flame Ring Connection where I also offer my specialty modality. I have figured out exactly how this goes and we can pinpoint it for zone healing and wellness. So everything is right there that you need for your 
Twin Flame Ascension Healing Wellness and Love Life Journey. <laughs> there I said it. Okay, I hope you have a good day. If you're not having a good day, if you're feeling triggered, it's in the atmosphere. There's a lot of stuff in the atmosphere from ancient history, ancient timelines. That was what this retrograde is doing. Let us help you move yourself forward. Thanks so much. Bye.